getting started with Plask Site Builder. This tutorial assumes that you have already logged into Plask Site Builder. Now let's learn how to start creating our first website. On this page, you can see that basically a website can be created with five steps, and later you may return to any step if necessary. Click Step 1 here to start. Here you may select the type of website you'd like to create. Scroll down to see all site types available. We've already selected an ordinary website type, which can be created according to your objectives and preferences. Click Next to proceed to Step 2. Here is Step 2, which allows creating site design. You may alter some design elements later if necessary, and your text, website's content, will remain intact. At first we need to choose a website's template from the number of templates which come by default with Plask Site Builder. Click here to select Template Category. Let's choose Business Style. Scroll down to select a template. Select a template. That's it. Now scroll to the right. Click on one of color schemes available. Then select a banner for your website. This is a central element of the page layout. You may upload your custom banners of proper dimensions and format as well. Click here to choose a banner. That's it! Let's scroll down now and specify site title, subtitle, and footer message. If you don't want to enter any data there, just erase the default information. Let's fill out the necessary data in these fields. When ready, click Next to go to Step 3. At this step, you can create your website structure and arrange the pages in the two levels of hierarchy, top-level pages and second-level pages. Let's choose a page set, a predefined site structure which might serve as a template. Click here to select Business Page Set. Click here to expand or collapse a section. Let's close this section first. Then we need to remove the current pages of your site structure and add standard pages defined by a new page set. Let's select all pages now. Click here to remove the selected pages. Now let's select the necessary pages for our business site. Click here to add the selected pages to the new site's structure. That's it! Scroll down. In this section, you may change the website's language. The language determines the format of numbers, currency, price, and date. Special pages determine the modules which can be added to your website. It is possible to add them anytime later. Let's scroll up now. Let's see how to set a position of the page. Select the necessary page here. Click up to move the page. That's it! The services page has been moved one level up. Scroll down. Check the box here to add a counter to your web pages. Click here to select Counter Style. Now let's see how to rename your pages if necessary. Let's assume that we've already selected the required page. Click Rename option here. Type in the new page name in this box. 
When done, proceed to the next step. Click Next here. Click Yes to apply changes. Here is step 4, where you can create your site content, add modules, and edit every page of your website. In this site builder, the text of your pages and the design are completely independent, so you may easily change the site layout and design without having to retype the information. Drag the scroll bar down to see the content of home page. Select and erase the default message. Type in your content instead. This is WYSIWYG Editor, and you may format the text to your liking. Select the text to format it. Click B to make the text bold. You may try any other options available here, as well as change fonts, size, and text format. In the left section, you may change the page's title, file name, and edit page keywords and description. Let's proceed to About page. Click Yes to save changes. Here you can edit the About page in the same way, as well as other pages of your website. Scroll to the right. You may see all the built-in modules in a long list at the right, which can be added to your website at this step. Let's scroll up now. Click Publish to proceed to the last step of website's creation. Success! We're done. You will see the ready website in a new window. The website's title, subtitle, and footer message have been modified. Scroll down to check the footer message. Here it is. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to get started with Plusk Site Builder and create your first web page. Remember that you do not have to do it all right the first time, as you can always return to make edits to any part of your website with Plusk Site Builder.